Once your mise en place is assembled, in a medium bowl, combine the cornstarch. Make sure you get all of it. Scrape the bowl. And then add the cocoa powder and one of the sugars. Take a whisk and whisk until the dry ingredients are well combined. Then take the 50 grams of milk and add, mixing until the mixture is smooth. Then add the sugar to the warming milk. Give it a stir so that it doesn't clump up. Add the eggs and egg yolks to the chocolate mixture. Mix until smooth. Then Pour in half the hot milk. This brings the chocolate mixture up to temperature. And as soon as the milk is combined, add the mixture to the milk in the pot. Scrape the bowl very well. Then whisk. Keep the mixture moving. And when it begins to thicken, whisk vigorously. Once it's nice and thick and is cooked for about a minute and a half, add the melted chocolate. And the vanilla and the butter. Whisk to combine. It'll be smooth. Then, optional, and then just smooth it out on low speed. Next, transfer the pudding and the whipped cream to piping bags. The whipped cream has a star tip, the pudding has a plain tip, and begin to fill your glasses or dishes, whatever it is you're using. You can start however you like. I started with the pudding and then went ahead with the cream, and you could layer all sorts of, you could add a bit of crunch, some crushed Oreo cookies, uh, brownie pieces, whatever you like. You can get completely creative with these uh, chocolate pudding parfaits. When you finish your layering, you should be flush with the top of the glass. So the next thing to do is to take an offset spatula, make sure you have a bowl nearby because there will be excess once you get that top layer in because you'll want to smooth out the top. This will give you a nice platform for any final garnish. And the one key thing is to have a bowl or something to put the excess, because there will be excess. Smooth out the top. That's it. Clean the side of the dish if you have to. And then pipe, pipe a little whipped cream, whatever you like. I'm using cocoa nibs to garnish, but you can use whatever you want. The design is totally yours.